Hey, last day of the spring fundraiser. Oh, guys, this is it. I mean, by the time we're doing this, we're we're done with the spring fundraiser, but it doesn't mean that the need is not still there. So no matter when you're listening to this podcast, hop over to RadioU.com and click on the donate stuff to still help us get to fully funded, 100% funded for Radio U, which helps the riot, which helps the worst of riot podcast that you're listening to. Well, I think that's everything. That is. So here's what you're going to hear in the show today. Uh, put Putting butter on bagels, uh, grant money for nap studies. Oh, I know someone that is willing to volunteer. You don't even have to pay. (laughs) Just completely volunteer. Giving up and buying a Blu-ray shelf. Uno, the movie. And then we also today talked about the Mortal Kombat movie. We Mm -hmm. take a look at the reviews for that. Uh, (laughs) How to date people to get more birthday presents. Well, this was a person who tried this. I was... I mean, we can all learn from their bad example. You know, with each news story, you just take a tiny bit from here and a tiny bit from there. (laughs) Uh, Big streaming weekend. We talk that. And then we also talk about why I'm the best person. (laughs) The best person ever. (laughs) You know what? You should make that be the very last part of this podcast. And that That, way, that's the last ending thing. (laughs) You know, the great thing about that is you'll be able to listen to that. And then you can spend the weekend feeling better than me. Great. Everybody can. It's perfect. There's nothing like a little self-righteousness to carry you through well thank you guys for listening to the podcast today thank you for those that have donated and will donate over the weekend and continue to keep our worst of rock uh, worst of riot podcast a possibility and then we'll be back on monday with a nice longer podcast all right enjoy it bye. have a great weekend bye bye you might be thinking that this won't be quite as bad the second time around well you'd be greatly mistaken we're listening to the worst of the riot podcast so, Nikki, today is Mortal Kombat Day. It is. <laughs> now, is remember, that... we've said many times in the past, this is not an endorsement. It's, really it's going to be awful. Don't take this as an endorsement. It's just a thing, okay? Okay, well, along those lines, <laughs> yeah. I thought we'd take a look at how it's doing on Rotten Tomatoes. I, I, I can't imagine it's doing anything good. Because let me give you some context here. Like This was the one of the reasons why I was like, yeah, I'll get HBO Max. I'll watch this. So Godzilla vs. Kong landed at 75%. That's a great movie. That's pretty good. Good movie. Not too great. Not too, like, right sweet spot. Really okay. good. Zack Snyder's Justice League, yeah. that four-hour recap whatever that landed at 71 percent that's actually pretty good numbers i i think that's really impressive remember a lot of times the uh the things that we like just as everyday people usually end up in the 50 60 70 marks for how movies are reviewed yeah so that brings us now to mortal Kombat. yeah nikki would you like to take a guess at how high or low it is where the current oh, tomato goodness. meter is ranking mortal Kombat? goodness um you know i don't want to go too low because let's not be so negative today okay uh but i I know not to go too high. <laughs> also a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and say maybe a 28 to 35 percent. 28 to 35? Let's put it somewhere in that tomato area. Well, Nikki, I've got some great news for you. Is it is it higher or lower? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> what is it? 55. Hey, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Again, this isn't an endorsement because it could be awful. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't Just seen awful. it. Like, I don't know. I See, the thing is, like, I am going to watch it this weekend. I'm just completely anticipating it being terrible. Terrible, sure. It's part of why I want to see it. Well, I like, there's these old movies. I think they're still on Netflix, but they're these old Mortal Kombat movies, and yeah, they're, they're bad. Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation. They're bad. They and, are bad. And the games are always so bad and just so awful, where it's like, here, let me rip your heart out and put it on the shelf. Like, there's a lot of violence to them, but they're so outlandish. Like, the violence is just so next level that, to us, we find that more humorous. We, Nikki and I think <laughs> that it's funny because it's so crazy. Because it's so bad. Well, I want to thank John, because uh, John texted us earlier this morning. He had scheduled a text on April 14th to remind us this morning, don't forget that Mortal Kombat comes what? out today. What? <laughs> oh, right, because we thought it came out yeah, last week. because we, they had changed the date on it. So, John, thank you for scheduling that and sending that to us this morning wow the only other movie that has come out lately has been nobody yeah that got an 82 percent. that's the one it's like john wick but the guy who's like a family guy and it's his house and stuff i watched it last night did you i did well and you know what it was okay (laughs) 
it's on stage. It's, it, it's not the movie you think it is. Oh, okay. And he's not quite, like, you know how John Wick is just like, I just killed 5,000 people. And, oh, my gosh, would you look at that little scratch I got there? He's not that guy. Oh, it's more realistic. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's somewhere in between. I, anything that. else feel like there's just a lack of movies, <laughs> just a lack of movies right now. <laughs> you're not, you're not. Why, why do you think I'm watching Nobody. movies from the forties? <laughs> yeah, that's why you go back to classic movies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, all right, Nikki, Mortal Kombat. We'll have to, I mean, your house or my house or just sometime this weekend. We'll watch it and talk about it on Monday. Okay. If you've ever asked yourself, just how bad can it get? We've got your answer right here. Worst of the Riot, Radio U. We just got a call. Nikki, was that Jerome? Uh, no, that was not. Somebody else. Yeah. Um, somebody called and said they couldn't believe that we put butter on bagels. That's not a weird thing, is it? Especially since we don't, if you think we barely have butter, even less frequently do we yeah, have cream I mean, cheese here. Come on. <laughs> so it's just a plain bagel. You just toast it, put butter on it. Oh, lots of butter. And that's it. It's good. It's delicious. So I, I don't think that's a regional thing. Well, I would just say that, you know, Tim Hortons puts butter on bagels and they're international. So it's fine. Yeah. Now, I mean, you could argue about the quality of a Tim Hortons bagel. <laughs> I'm not here. We're not doing that. To do that. I'm just telling you that there is... Well, is, does anybody else think that's weird? I, I think we're fine. I don't think we need to second guess ourselves or worry about our choices. Well, I'll I just, think the uh, butter is a fine choice for the bagels we have this morning. Even if on some official level it's considered, like, what is it the Chicago people are like, you don't put ketchup on a hot dog? Uh, and I don't care. It's I'm, kind of along those lines. But yeah, I don't think that's regional to our area. I think butter on a bagel is a normal thing. It seems normal. Like I've been to Einstein Brothers Bagels. They they do butter. I've been to uh, what's like Panera. Panera. They they offer like. Do you want us to toast it? Do you want it buttered? Yeah. So listen, we we were worried there for a moment. <laughs> we were just second guessing ourselves. I'm like, wait, is this the right or the wrong choice? I mean, that and seems... we don't have to worry at all. I'm, I mean, like I'm. A little worried. You're concerned. Just like I just want to. Just making sure. Listen, we don't. We don't want to be like the odd ones, and no one's telling us. <laughs> but we should be fine. I don't know. It just seems perfectly normal to me. Yeah, but it's good. Put a little butter on our bagel, and I mean, again, it's not a euphemism. But uh, we'll get a grass-fed butter. It's oh, real oh, good. Oh. Have you ever done this? Like if you put jelly on toast or something, or even on a bagel, but you put a layer of butter first. I know a lot of people that do that. It's supposed to like get the bagel ready, right? <laughs> and then you just put the uh, jelly on it after. Yeah. No. I. You know what? Like I, my friend's mom, and this is what I don't understand is like I was just always a fat kid, and my friend who was like. I mean, like a, a blade of grass. Like his mom was trying to fatten him up. So she would make peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> You'd gain more weight. <laughs> She'd put butter on the sandwich, then peanut butter. Whoa. And it, I remember as a kid just being like, what? What is this? But she was trying to get him to gain weight. So that makes I, sense. I guess. I don't know. And then I'm over there just like, I can't stay in pants. Well, maybe then we're not supposed to be doing the butter or the bagels. <laughs> But until then, that's all we've got, and we're going to enjoy our upcoming breakfast in a few minutes. Sounds good to me. <laughs> the worst of the worst. Are you ready? The Riot Podcast. Radio U. Radio U. Radio U. Radio U. You know what? I would just like to say that this guy in Japan is a genius. <laughs> Do you think so? even though he got caught? I no. mean, he wasn't okay. smart enough to not get caught. He did get caught, but his idea was fantastic. Now, he was dating and. I don't know how, but somehow was dating 35 different women at the same time. A couple of them found out and then they just kept finding more women that this guy had been dating. So they think it was around 30 or so, but there was a lot of women that and they put seriously dating like it wasn't just a first date or so. They were seriously to them. They were seriously dating. Right. And he told them. Yeah. Hey, you know, like I'm, I'm serious with you. That's just like a term where, uh, you know, they you're dating to like get married. Essentially, yes. Yeah. So him having these 35 different relationships or so, uh, he told. I love this so much. He gave each of them a different birthday for him. <laughs> for him. So that they would buy. He would be getting presents 
all year long. So he spaced it out throughout the year, and he would say, like, okay, with this girl, his birthday would be, you know, like... On this day. Yeah, on this day. And then the other girl, the birthday would be in the fall or something, so that he would be continually getting presents throughout the whole year. That (laughs) is incredible. (laughs) But you're not really allowed to do that. (laughs) Incredible. <laughs> so he's he's in trouble. He's been, I think, arrested. So is there, like, but okay, it's the fraud thing. It's but fraud. is it fraud? Not just the birthday, but just the fraud because he was seeing so many women. It's like a serial dater sort of thing. So and that's okay. And I'm, that's I'm like, not allowed. Is it is it illegal? I think because of some of the things he was saying and doing. Okay. Yes. Because it's, I, to be clear, I'm not really advocating for this behavior. I just love the idea of celebrating your birthday three times a month. No. That sounds great. No, it's basically because you're you're frauding these people out of money and gifts and items. And it's crazy. So yeah, it's not really allowed so wait okay just to bring this home for a minute does that mean those times that i lied about my birthday to get a coupon from various restaurants do you think that i that's built in it's fine okay this is just like if you're dating somebody i'm not saying i've done that i'm saying that if i would have done that like i found out we were going somewhere and i was like i need a coupon (laughs) oh my gosh today's my birthday nope this isn't like that this is with a person you know you're just you're misleading that person and apparently with the rules in japan and stuff that the women all came and created a lawsuit like against him wanting to get him arrested yeah but does he get to keep the stuff uh from the was birthdays the stu- was it good stuff i don't know and i didn't see in the article what toppled it down like was uh, it too many women did he get a date wrong like what happened uh let's see he told i think it might be the birthday thing no fix to both or not you know wow he had no he didn't have a home like he was just want from wandering place to from place, place to place person to person yeah so uh you know what i didn't catch how they ended up finally catching him either but uh they did. So, he slipped up somehow, <laughs> and now he's in trouble. Yeah, well, you know, he was working for a marketing company selling hydrogen water shower heads and other products. Maybe that's how he met a lot of the women, it, it going is. around he, selling. As a salesperson, he kept meeting huh. different people. Wow. Well, again... I'm not advocating, but I would love to celebrate my birthday three times a month. Many times out of the year. That'd be great. (laughs) I can think of stuff I want right now. I know, but you don't want to have, that's a lot of work managing all that. It's more than you realize. You don't want it. It'd be cheaper to just get a job and buy what you want. Yes, that's exactly it. It's true. (laughs) Just do it on your own. The Riot Radio U. Hey, you know what? What are your plans later today? You got any? Today? Yeah. Nothing much, I don't think. Would you be willing to take a nap today? Well, now that does seem like I could schedule that in, doesn't it? Pencil it in. (laughs) I think so. All right, because right now I am looking at uh, some research uh, coming from uh, Dr. Devi, uh, a neurologist specializing in memory disorders at Lenox Hill Hospital. And they say one of the best things you can do to protect your brain is Mm -hmm. healthy sleep habits. Mm. But they also said, hey, 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 you know what? The midday nap could be a great way to do that. We he, should not say no to that. I know other studies and just in general, I think in the past it's been considered lazy, but it's not. It can really help you during the day. So they were like emphasizing like, hey, this is we have some initial findings. Yeah. We need to do more research, aka we sure could use some grant money. <laughs> And a couple of people who want to step forward and start taking afternoon naps. Um, But there is a a new study that has been done in China, and that's where these results are that they're Mm. talking about. So they say that that afternoon nap that does not last longer than two hours uh, can be... (laughs) Two-hour nap. Oh, sometimes you're like, that's just a little bit less than the sleep at night. (laughs) If you're just not sleeping a lot during night. So... Oh my gosh. Here you go, Nikki. You mm-hmm. got let me give you some inside results here. Fifteen hundred people. Okay. Uh let's see. So what is it like six hundred and eighty of them did not take naps. So is that eight hundred and twenty of them did? Uh participants were given tests that judged several aspects of mental ability, including visuo <laughs> visuo spatial skills. What's that? Your vision? He's a good reader. <laughs> He's good. You know what? You'd be better if you took more naps. Visual spatial skills, working memory, attention span, problem solving, locational awareness, and verbal fluency. Oh. That's some fancy talk right there. They said that those who took the naps scored much higher than How those about who this? did not. Are you tired of being grumpy in the afternoon? You can't make it too late into the evening without just wanting to die. Uh, you might need an afternoon nap. I take them. Every day? 
Mm, not every day, but... Are you listening to your body? <laughs> That's what they always say. Listen to your body, and if you're tired, take a nap. What does your body tell you? Now, if you're working, we're not saying take a nap then, because, you know, you have to figure out your own schedule. Hey, man, maybe you take a nap at lunch. Mm, that does sound good, too. Doesn't sound so bad, does it? Sometimes, because, <sighs> like, you know, I work here, and then I'll work at home, and sometimes after the show, I'll just, like... Ten, sometimes, Recharge? Sometimes 10-minute nap. Like, I'll set a timer on my phone. I actually... Uh, six minute nap is a good one. Oh, that's good. I know that sounds ridiculous, but lay down for six minutes, just close your eyes, and then the alarm goes off, and it's you're yawning. I am yawning. <laughs> I am. <laughs> your I body am. is calling out for it's, this, Nikki. It's to stop it. <laughs> Are you listening to your body? But then when it comes to like ten or eleven o'clock at night, you're like, uh, uh-uh, uh, I don't want to sleep now. Body want to party. So that's why you need to clock in a few hours earlier in the day to make it work out. <laughs> it's real. Everything you love about the Riot, plus a handy-dandy fast-forward option. This is the Worst of the Riot podcast. My name's Obadiah, and I have a movie-buying problem. <laughs> welcome, Obadiah. Wait, we're all supposed to welcome you it takes to, a lot to It takes a to lot admit to admit it. it. We're proud of you for saying that. It takes a lot to admit um, it. What are we... Are you looking at something else now? You know what? I'm thinking about just embracing it. No, because, I thought we already did. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I continue to have them like hidden back away where people can't see them. Yeah. And I've just started thinking, you know what? You should just buy a big old freaking display shelf and just put them out. I think it'd make an amazing background like for stuff. Uh, like if you filmed anything in yeah. front of it. So you should totally just get like if you go to Ikea, they have the like almost like a library wall. But instead, it's all Blu-rays. Okay, let's see. And video blue. games, you could just store it all there. I know, I'd put I would put it all there. And so, hey, that's not bad. The IKEA one they've got one for $95. That's the Billy. Yeah, the Billy bookcase. Yeah, that's what it's called. How deep? You know what though? Like it's too no, they, deep. They have other ones that are made for movies and things. So just like that Yeah, very I think you reason. need one that's very much looks a little bit more custom to that size. Yeah, did you see the link that I just sent you? Uh no, I've not. I have to see like how many this holds, but this one is a uh it's the prepack quad width wall storage cabinet. I think it's too big. I think the quad width might be It looks a bit t- too big. Like the triple though. And this doesn't look like the right sizing. It's all CDs. So no, no, no. well, you don't know want oh, it to change it it's up. The, it's that the shelves themselves, mm. you can move them up and down to make space for it. No, I'm not story. What I'm, kind of a moron buys CDs like, anymore? We're into, you know, we're in music, we're in radio. And so we have a lot of back catalogs, but so much of our stuff, it's all digital now. But for Blu-rays and, and 4Ks and stuff, you need uh, you need something else. Well, it's too much. 1,200 Blu-rays? No. You don't I have, have that many? I probably have. If you add my DVDs, most of which I've given away, yeah. and my Blu-rays together, you're probably talking about... Somewhere between two and three hundred. Now they know they say sometimes you're thinking that, but it might end up being a tiny bit more. More it if gets I actually away from saw you. It. Yeah, if you actually counted them. Okay. Well, Annie said uh, try the Billy bookcases with glass doors. Those are amazing. The Billy? No, I don't want glass doors. You don't no. want that? No, because I, you know, that way if I trip, I'm bleeding. I'm dead. Maybe. <laughs> Is that but how just, you get taken out? No glass. You don't, have to, you don't have to dust them or anything. Yeah. Still, I'm not doing that anyway. Like I, it feels like a bad idea. Well, Plus, Annie, thank if, you for this suggestion. No, though. it's fine. But I'm just <laughs> also too like if you use it for a background, you've got foreground lighting, and uh, then it's going to be shining on the glare. Yeah, like, yeah, that's not going to. Well, keep looking at IKEA because they do have ones that are made for that, and that would totally look great behind you. Yeah, so, so again, well, it looks like a library, but there's not books there. <laughs> it's just all your movies. I just have so many, and I just thought, like, you know what, just. Everybody knows you have a problem. Stop hiding it. Make it a focal point. Just then people come in and like, you have a lot of movies. And you're like, I know. <laughs> I'm amazing. But it makes sense. Look at me. It makes sense in that space. <laughs> it, yeah. It'll work. It'll be fine. All right. So I just need to find a count. And you're saying the Ikea Billy? Well, that's the one I think you were looking at. That's just like a bookcase. You're going to want to find one. It's not as deep. Yeah, no, I really like this it, is actually four movies. It needs to be specifically for that purpose, because I I already have I have like a bookshelf that I have the movies on. And yeah. it's like 
this is, you got to dig through them. You got to move stuff around. Like, I just want to be able to see them. No, and what would be good is if you get through Ikea, you can hate it when you put it together and really hate your stuff that you put in it then. That's fantastic. you feel so mad about what you had to just build. That's wonderful because what I want to do is I want to get more angry at myself, about myself, for myself. About your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so if anybody finds anything for a Blu-ray storage, send it his way. And I think it would be a great background. And don't take this the wrong way, but I don't want one that rotates. You don't, you don't want what do you mean you don't want the ones that's been around no i don't know why but i'm just like that is out is that is that the line that's here? the line that's too much for him i'm really not a great person the riot just because it's bad doesn't mean it's not good wait isn't that exactly what it means it's the riot on radio U. man nikki it's a crazy weekend if you want to watch streaming like, it's just crazy, mm-hmm. all the stuff that's on. There was the Shadow and Bone, which I still haven't seen a single review of. Uh, but, I mean, that was, you have to get through, I think it was eight episodes. So, maybe when it released or if they didn't do screeners and stuff. I'm I'm out. <laughs> I, like, I'm not in a hurry. But you want to see it. Like, you're just I not going to watch it this weekend. I want to see it. But you know what? I'm just going to take my <laughs> <Your> time. time. <laughs> that's fine. Just forget about it. <laughs> So there's that. Falcon and Winter Soldier ends today. Yeah. It's the the finality. The finality. Well, I know what you mean with it. It's today. Uh, and Nikki, most importantly, mm-hmm. For All Mankind wraps up today. I know you like that. And there's a couple other listeners who watch it too, but it's, it's just it. not as popular as the other ones you mentioned. I saved last week's episode. Yeah. And this week's. Oh, so so I can have a, a two hour spectacular spectacular. Nice. Yeah. Good plan. It'll be a little uh, movie it's finale a, for me. It's an Apple TV space show. <laughs> That's over there. <laughs> I see that one hand. I have someone out there. I see that one well, hand. Well, at least there's some stuff to watch. Listen, you get the fundraiser over this morning, and then you can just relax over the weekend and enjoy all the stuff. Another three minutes of Obadiah talking about some tech thing he wants to buy. Worst of the Riot podcast. Mattel is now officially working on an Uno movie. What what do we do with an Uno movie? Man, Nikki, just think of all the possibilities. Why? Uno. Do they have any, like, are they sharing I'll be the... your draw for. <laughs> are they sharing any of the uh, script ideas, or what's it going to be about? Uh, well, they're teaming up with Lil Yachty. He's a hip-hop artist, if you don't know him. He says, I'm so excited to be a part of this film with Mattel. I played Uno as a kid and still do today. So to spin that into a movie based on the Atlanta hip-hop scene is really special. It, it's close to home for me. Okay. So it's about that? Well, that his quote found at the end of the article is the only thing in the article that gives any context for the story. So what's the other uh, board game movies that they've done? Was it just a Battleship one? Battleship. Was that the only one? And that's Hasbro. Oh, Does Hasbro, Hasbro own Mattel now? Maybe they do. I don't know. Um, do that, you have any other th- card game ones? It's not like... It's a heist sort of card game. This is Uno. It's yeah. a family game. Well, <laughs> I'm you know, sure it maybe. can get intense, but at the heart of it, it's probably going to be a family movie. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, like Hasbro announced that they were going to do this universe of films and characters and all that stuff. That uh, that hasn't materialized as of yet. Well, I think they had a lot of ideas and, you know, money is tight for some of the industry when it comes to the COVID stuff and the ridicule I think they also had for some of the movies. All right, Nikki, they here are the other properties that are in development as films from Mattel. Barbie, that seems like a no-brainer. Oh, I, th- I think they would already have Barbie stuff. I mean, they have those direct-to-video... Oh, so this would be like one in theaters, though. Right, okay. I see. American Girl. American Girl. Same thing. That see, Hot Wheels. Eh, that's kind of what Fast and Furious is, guys. What Pretty is much just a big, a, big, um, a big car movie. Magic 8-Ball. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Major Matt Mason. What's that? I have no idea. Is that a game or is it a toy? I don't know. We'll have to Google it. Masters of the Universe, which so we know He-Man? that we know that's a thing, the He-Man thing, and then the Viewmaster and Wishbone. Is that the clicky thing? Mm-hmm. What's Wishbone? I have no idea. But that Viewmaster thing—that actually is something like where it's a 
its own view master that's always been wrong. And when you look through it, you get sucked into the pictures and you have a friend that like is stuck in there. And you got to get back to your home and you got to click through all the, they, what they don't realize is while you're clicking through, it's, it's actually real people happening. inside. <gasps> that could be a scary one. So that's like never ending story, but with a view master. Yeah, that might work. Okay. Yeah. Like, there we go. We just solved that problem. Next. Done. I don't think we could fix all those that they mentioned, but we can, we could see one of those actually working. Yeah. Okay. I, oh, I didn't mention Barney. Barney? Yeah, the purple dinosaur. Oh, all right. Well, that's what they're working on. All right. Come on. So, man, somebody today, somebody today is getting up and their job <laughs> is to plot <laughs> out and potentially script the Magic 8-Ball film. Yeah, that could be it. That's their whole job. They're sitting down with a Magic 8-Ball going, Magic 8-Ball, is this movie going to be any good? No. That's, that is the crossover with Ask it. Ask again. <laughs> now, we'll have to look through our text messages, but it seems like you guys have some opinions on some of these board games to movies that they have. Well, I guess so. In case you're wondering, yes, we do get complaints. They have gone too far. This time, they are going to be held accountable. You're listening to The Riot on Radio U. <laughs> Yesterday, I had like the best experience ever. Uh, I went to get my second shot and your second vaccine. Yes. Shot. So I got the Pfizer vaccine. <laughs> You're the house of Pfizer. I read it. Well, you know, I read an article about how apparently some people are really snotty about the kind of vaccine they get. Oh, that's you haven't seen any of that stuff. No, it's everywhere. Well, I got Pfizer <laughs> and they say that Pfizer's the top of that heap. Yeah. They say you're more attractive. <laughs> Everything they say is better. Everything about me is better now. As long as it's not the Johnson and Johnson, they say that's the other Leg house. Bearer. That one. <laughs> Man, your legs probably just going to fall off anytime. But you now. know how nice people can be online. It's no problem. It's right. fine, even though if you don't get that one. I love this. Yesterday, I show up. Now, the first time I went, there wasn't much of a line, mm-hmm. and so you just kind of like went in, and you have to fill out some paperwork, and then you get your vaccine. Now, this place I went, it's free. Unless you have insurance, they'll be happy to bill your insurance company. But, you know, they're not going to if somebody wants the vaccine, they can whatever you get it. And so I am standing there and this lady walks up and utters one of the best first world comments ever. She's like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe there's a line. She didn't want to wait. Last time I just walked in and I just thought like, oh, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard that now, you got in your car and drove over here to free. receive the vaccine that most of the world can't get their hands on, <laughs> that you're not going to have to pay for. You and didn't now say you, anything, no, though, did you? No. Okay, good. Did I your just, body language say anything? I don't know. She's like three people behind me. Mm. And so I spent, it was really great. I spent like a solid five to ten minutes feeling incredibly superior to her. And then... Well, you are. Yeah. <laughs> whichever one you got. <laughs> and then when I got in there and they handed me the paperwork to fill out again, yeah. I was like, I can't believe I have got to fill out all this paperwork again. I filled it all out the first time and now I've got to sit here and fill it all out again. Can't you look it up? And that that's I didn't the, say that out loud. But that's what you were feeling. But you know what, Nikki? I want you to know that in that moment, mm-hmm. a large mirror was held up to my soul. <laughs> you in a glass house. And it showed me <laughs> that despite the fact that I still, even now, feel like I am better than that woman that I stood in front of, we have the same You're problem. the same. We're suffering from affluenza. <laughs> What's the shot for that? You can't get it. <laughs> it's at one. They have to take everything away from you and you stack mud for 10 years. That's well, the only cure. I guess the only difference is she was just vocal out loud, but you were vocal inside your head. Oh, yeah. I'm just winding up a storm. And, and all of that's true. The superiority, then the disdain, then the realization that I'm a terrible person <laughs> and yet not being able to shake the sense that while I'm terrible, I'm still a little better than she is. Isn't that great? <laughs> well, can I just say thanks for not saying? anything there in the moment say anything. that's good i didn't say anything in fact i got the same nurse i talked to her i told her how pretty her hair was you're very nice she had this amazing red blonde she said it was all natural it was just like how did, that's amazing and she remembered me from last time and we chit chatted about side effects we had a great time look at what a good person i am oh my god Look at how great I am. Look how nice you are. Wow. <laughs> well, thanks for the recap on yesterday. Gosh, more people should be like me probably. <laughs> wow.
Gosh, I feel good to be myself. Good. This was the worst of the riot, and we'd like to congratulate you on having the stomach to stick around to the very end. The riot exists because Radio U exists, and Radio U only exists because of your support. Find out more and give now at RadioU.com slash donate. I would rather drink dirty water that's free than have to come in and pay for coffee.